Hello. Hi. Let me introduce you to my friend Joy. Uh, Joy and my, I are friends from work. Well, we met at work, but we became good friends. Joy is Scottish, and she has never been close to another Polish person um, until she met me. A few weeks ago, we decided to go for a girly weekend somewhere, and I suggested we go to Krakow. Since Joy had no knowledge about the place and no idea what to expect, I thought to ask her a few questions so we can hear um, the opinion of someone who's never been in Poland about Poland and Polish people. You ready? Ready. <laughs> Question number one, Joy. What did you think about Poland before you met me and before you visited Poland? Okay, um, I didn't really know much about Poland uh, before we went over to visit. Um, I guess I just found it very stereotypical of what most um, British people think. Um, so I think, you know, I didn't imagine it to be like the way it is, uh, basically, and I was taken aback. What, what did you imagine the place to be like before you actually came over? What did you think? I wasn't sure what to expect, but I didn't expect it to be as traditional as it was. Um, I expected it to be a little bit um, not with the times, I guess, um, because you you kind of when you think of Poland, you know that um, it's it's not a poor country, but it's, you know it's not a well-off country either. Um, so I didn't expect it to just be as traditional and wow as it was, especially Market Square. Yeah, Joe loves uh, Krakow's Market Square. When we first time stood on Market Square, she was like speechless. <laughs> so yes, I was. It was really beautiful to see because I knew that she didn't expect that. What did you like about Poland the most? What's impressed you the most? I think the people actually impressed me the most, um, genuinely, because I've never really spent much time with a lot of Polish people and I found that they had a real depth about them. Um, they were very friendly, very happy, um, always happy to help as well. So the moment like we arrived, you know, we had our luggage carried up to our room for us um, by this That's random true. guy That's true. <laughs> um, who just offered um, rather than us dragging it up the stairs. Um, so yeah, and all the way throughout our trip, everyone was just really lovely. Um, didn't meet one horrible Polish person. <laughs> cool. uh, Joy was considered very exotic over there, so she was attracting loads of attention by both men and women, <laughs> which it's awesome for me, but she was getting so embarrassed. I don't know why. <laughs> it's very sweet to watch. What surprised you the most? Um, I'm going to say Babel Castle surprised me quite a lot because in Edinburgh, you obviously have Edinburgh Castle and as much as it's beautiful to look at, it's not really as deep or interesting as um, Babel Castle. And when I walked into Babel Castle, I, I had such a feeling of incredible and taken aback by all the kings and all their stories and you know as we walked through Olga was telling me all the stories and um, you know every every kind of building as well around Market Square has some sort of story behind it um, and I just found that really lovely. Yeah and we didn't even take any tour guide around Wavel. No. I was really just telling her bits and pieces I remembered since I was a child and my parents would take me there so I know it's amazing to hear it because I you know I had a bubble cast in front of my window when I would still live in Poland so for me it was so normal and it's so great to hear yeah this and I think it's surprising mind. because Krakow is similar to Edinburgh because it's very traditional and the old buildings um, but I just I think there's a lot more to it um, without you know saying that Edinburgh is not as, as good but I've lived here like my whole life so I'm kind of used to this place whereas I didn't expect any other city to be similar mm -hmm. um, and I think that that was yeah good good uh, um, we've been also to Auschwitz and mm -hmm. um, I like what you said that um, it was good that we went there the first day because it just gives a different view on the whole crack of yes definitely. It puts everything into perspective uh, yeah so without going to Auschwitz, Krakow would still probably be good, but with going to Auschwitz, it really... It was better, yeah. It, the experience was deeper and better, I mm -hmm. think. Okay, so what you didn't like? <laughs> okay. Honestly. Um, 
Honestly, oh, this is a hard one. Um, what did I not like? Because we had such an amazing weekend, it's hard to imagine mm -hmm. what I didn't like. Probably, too, probably, too I suppose, hot. yeah, it was a little bit, yeah, it was quite hot, but then <laughs> can never I can't complain, complain about the sun when you live in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say what I didn't like is that some parts of Poland seemed quite run down. Um, and it would be nice for it to be more modern, especially because it's part of Europe now um, and it's in the European Union. So it would be nice for the rest of Poland to kind of catch up um, with the times because you've got the extreme of going to Market Square where it's beautiful and you can see that there's been a lot of money put into it. But then where everyone actually lives in the residential areas, you know that they could invest like so much more. Um, so yeah, so I guess what I didn't like is that some of these people are living in, you know, old-fashioned conditions and it should be more modern. Yeah. Very interesting. Has the visit to Poland influenced or changed the way you look at Polish people now? Definitely, 100%. Um, I didn't, you know, know very much about Polish people. Um, it's not that I judged them or anything, I just... I honestly didn't know what to think really um, and now you know I can have a conversation I think with any Polish person um, because I've been to Poland and I've experienced that um, and I can tell them how beautiful like their country is so yes fantastic you said as well we were on market square having a beer Varka Strong <laughs> my favorite and, um, yes and the, um, I told Joy that the beer cost 12 zloty on the market square while the waiters that were serving us they earned 4 zloty per hour which um, Jo was very shocked when she heard about that and she said it really does make sense now why uh, we choose to leave the country and go abroad to earn money just because it, it's unimaginable for a beer to cost three times as you earn per hour in, in Polish conditions. Yes, I agree completely. Mm -hmm. So I think it also when you go there it makes much more sense for you why so many of us live abroad and come to the UK, for example, to um, just to earn a living, really. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, that was my last question. Thank you very much, Joy. For thank you, Olga. <laughs> thank you for company in Poland, first of all, on our girly weekend in Krakow. But as well, thank you for this conversation. Aww. And um, I'll see you in my other videos. Bye bye. Bye. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we need to get this done. She's not really that small, she's just standing in the lower stone. <laughs>